morning. New and I were speaking with the hunters who caught this giant gator. Oh my goodness. We first shared this picture with you last week on Good Day Orlando. The gator is 13 feet long and weighs about 700 pounds. So we have gator hunters Mark Whitmer and Mark Odell here with us this morning. Good morning to you. Thanks for joining Thank us you. on Good, Good Day Orlando. So you said that you guys have been hunting gators for 30 years. Long time. Have you ever seen one and caught one as big as the picture that we saw? Never caught never, one that big. Never caught one. So can you take me through the moments of actually catching this gator? Started out pre-dawn um, scouting, you know, using binoculars. It's it's actual hunting, trying to find a big one, you know, the one that we wanted to, to uh, catch. And then once we spotted him, it just uh, probably an hour before we got got a hook in him, probably. Yeah. And uh, probably an hour, hour and a half. They don't, they're really, really spooky. They don't like boats. So we had several boats, fishing boats came by us when we were watching them and, and he would go down and come back up. And we had to wait till he got into an area, a position that we thought we, we had a good chance of catching him. And we just, we just use a fishing pole to uh, snag him. And uh, Mark's great on the rod, so he grabs, <laughs> he grabs the rod. <laughs> and then we, um, he just, you don't reel an alligator to the boat, you reel the boat to the alligator. So he just starts pulling the boat all around and all around and all around and all around. And then we got him up close enough, we got a second, we carried more than one fishing pole, got another line in him. And what, 10 minutes later probably is when we finally got to see just how big he really was when his head came up. And we both looked at each other and go, we're in trouble. <laughs> I mean, and he was so big, he couldn't even get in the boat with you guys. Oh, no. no, no, we, no. we could not pick him up. He came up to boat. take a breath to kind of, I guess, figure out what's got a hold of me, you know, because he's been pulling us all over the place. And uh, then we saw his head, and when his head came up, and we both thought, oh, we're in trouble now, because <laughs> he was really big. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And you can see that picture there. So yeah. can you tell us? That's, that's when they lashed to the boat when we were dragging him in right there to get to the ramp. And we didn't know how big he actually was. We had to use my truck to pull him out of the water. We couldn't move him at all. Oh, my Zero. goodness. And when we got him out of the water, then we just... We kind of <laughs> had to call in some reinforcement oh, to yeah. help. Oh, well, we yeah, the truck. <laughs> Can you tell us exactly where you guys were? In the central Florida lake. We okay. really don't want to talk too much about it. It's not a big recreational lake, you know, mm -hmm. with jet skis and skiing, but it's a big fishing lake. A lot of <gasps> fishing, a lot of airboats, but not a, uh, you know, recreational type where you're going to go out there and go skiing. So. Oh, my goodness. But it's, so, a, it's a draw on a public hunt, so it's it's out there for people to find. And some people probably know where it is, but it's um, it's pretty good for big gators. And we are in the season right now. How right long now. does it go? August 15th to October 31st. Okay. And how long do you think it takes for a gator to be that big? I mean, massive. I was schooled on this earlier this week. Um, they say it takes a... 10-foot alligator is going to be between 20 and 40 years old and for this size alligator they're thinking somewhere between 60 and 80. Oh my goodness. It's been around a long time. A long time. Long <laughs> He's lived time. a few lives. <laughs> Seen a lot yes. of boats. Oh mm -hmm. my goodness. So can you tell the gator's age by length, tail, scales, kind of like rings on a tree? I, I don't know. I don't know if they can do a take a tooth and do samples of the tooth. Uh, I think a lot of the variable with the food, you know, the environment that it's in, mm -hmm. how much does it have to eat, you know, and, and um, how hard is it on the gator in that particular lake. This particular lake, they're just big. They're, they're, they're massive. There's certain other lakes you can go to and you may catch a 10-foot gator um, and then you go to another lake and you catch another 10-foot gator and there's just no comparison totally to, the, different. You know, to the girth and the size of them. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Well, that's very impressive and you brought all the tools that you yeah, used. Yeah, we use our, uh, so our harpoon. bang stick. Har this is a mini version of what we use. Okay. We didn't bring the full <laughs> length stuff in, but uh, you know, we, we get, once we got the gator tar you know, tired enough to get up to the boat, then you get a harpoon or a dart, you get this dart in them with a rope and a, and a float because many times this line can break. Yeah. And if you don't have something secured to the gator, the gators, you're going to lose him. Then he's gonna and you never ever, I mean, at least in my opinion, you never want to, you know, dispatch one unless you've got a rope in them, you uh -huh. know, some line, because if he breaks your line and sinks, you're going to lose the gator. Very good. Well, we appreciate you guys so much for coming. Mark and Mark. Thanks Thank for having us. We'd love to Thank see all the pictures. Us. You're welcome.